Welcome to Short Simple Science. Today we are going to look at adaptations. To start off, what is an adaptation when it comes to science? It is a characteristic that helps an organism survive in its environment. The characteristic can be physical, how it looks, or behavioral, how it acts. Adaptations happen slowly over time and to whole populations of species. There wasn't just one day that suddenly all giraffes woke up with long necks. Instead, those with slightly longer necks survived long enough to have more kids than those that had shorter necks. And then those children with slightly longer necks found more food to survive and have more kids. After many, many generations, we got what we know today as giraffes. Because adaptations develop slowly in species, it can be difficult to think of them sometimes. It helps to think about what an animal does or has to help it live in its habitat. Birds that are native to cold regions have feathers on their legs, such as the snowy owl and sharp-tailed grouse. These birds and many others have this adaptation to help them stay warm in long, cold winters. Birds native to warm lands do not have this adaptation as they don't have these long cold winters to get through. Another way to spot adaptations is to look at differences between closely related species. A common example of adaptations is among Darwin's finches. While these are all finches living in the Galapagos Islands, you'll notice their beaks are slightly different. The beaks have adapted over many years to help each type of finch eat its particular type of food that is found where it lives. Finches in the trees have beaks that can better grab insects or get into tight places. The ground finches have stronger beaks to crush the seeds they eat off the ground. Everything has an adaptation to help it survive. The North American river otter has the ability to close their ears and nose while they swim to keep the water out. Also, when they dive for fish to eat, their heartbeat slows to one-tenth their normal rate to conserve oxygen so they can stay under the water longer. Sea turtle babies run to the water as fast as they can once they hatch to avoid being eaten by any predators. Tigers have stripes to help them blend into their surroundings. This makes them almost invisible to anything trying to kill them, as well as helps the tiger sneak up on prey. Now, I could continue listing different animal adaptations, but that would make a very long video. So instead, think of your favorite animals and see if you can figure out what adaptations they have to survive where they live.